You are in the right spot if you're here to learn about manufactured homes, what types of loans are available on those, and how they can help us in solving this affordability issue that we're having in our country right now. My name's Miles Pitcher. I'm the owner of Superior Lending, and I've been in the business almost 22 years now. So definition of a manufactured home. So back in 1976, HUD came out and said, here's the guidelines or the quality, the construction quality guidelines for these. But these are homes that are built according to those guidelines in a factory or warehouse. Then they're transported to the location and installed on either a permanent or temporary foundation. The, the temporary ones we cannot do loans on, but permanent foundations, yes, we absolutely can. Uh, you may hear these referred to as single whites, double whites, triple whites. For our loan purposes, double whites and triple whites are eligible. Uh, we don't see triple whites too often. Why a manufactured home? Well, the cost of these is quite a bit less than a new construction home or a typical home. And there's fast installation. The warranties on these are awesome and the, qual the construction quality is in a controlled environment, which gives you top-notch quality on these products. They've come a long ways. Uh, so if somebody says manufactured home, but we don't have a knee-jerk reaction, there are some impressive manufactured homes out there and available. Financing, we can do these owner-occupied second homes. We cannot do investment properties. The awesome part of this is that we can do these on FHA, VA, USDA, and conventional loans. And why does that matter? That's because you are going to get your very best interest rate with a one of these traditional loan types on there. And that's the whole key here is to try to help you get the lowest monthly payment possible and get a very affordable solution. Some of the key guidelines here, and this is not a comprehensive list of guidelines, I just want to hit on a few key ones, that we can do these as purchases, we can do these as cash out refinances, and rate and term refi. A rate and term refi just means we are lowering the interest rate or and lowering, shortening the term of the loan. I think I already mentioned no single whites allowed and it has to be on a permanent foundation. In addition to that, um, or sorry, it, the, if you have a property that has an addition built onto it, maybe somebody wanted to connect a garage, build a big family room, an additional bedroom onto the double wide, FHA, VA, and conventional are okay with this as long as it's been inspected by a structural engineer. USDA, they only allow for decks and porches to be added onto the property. Manufactured date is a big deal, so any anything manufactured pre-1976 is not going to be approved. That's because the guidelines from HUD were not in place at that time. The standards were not in place, building standards. Uh, that's when they went into effect. There are tags on the, the actual units so that you can see manufactured dates, and those tags are very important when the property gets inspected and appraised. USDA loans on these uh, are only eligible after the pilot program began in January 1st, 2006. Uh, contact your loan officer to make sure that your area city fits within the pilot program states. Um, there's a list they have published on which states are eligible. Loan to value or how much down payment do you have to have? Freddie and Fannie, uh, are typically 5% down. However, Fannie Mae does have a specific manufactured home program out there that you can do as little as 3% down. FHA, 3.5% down is the standard, and VA and USDA are phenomenal, and we love those because you can, if you qualify and fit for those loans, you can do as little as 0% down. Let me know if you have any questions on this. Always happy to help with scenarios, always happy to help with quotes. And if you are purchasing in a state where I'm not licensed or refinancing, I have a great connection with 
licensed, experienced, phenomenal brokers across the country. Thank you so much. Have a great week. We'll be back next week with another tip.